Hey guys, I wanted to bring you guys my first commentary that I've done for this channel. Hopefully you guys enjoy it, and this gameplay is going to be of a chem challenge, which is a new series I'm going to start, which can kind of be like a New Year's kind of thing, since today is New Year's, which brings me to the other point of Happy New Year's to all you guys. Hopefully you guys are doing something fun for it, etc, etc. But either way, I'm pretty new to commentary, so if you guys have any tips or anything like that, feel free to point it out and be like, hey dude, you're doing this, you do this, etc. And... Hopefully you guys also enjoy the gameplay. My main thing that I'm hoping for is the gameplay is good enough, and then the commentary, you guys should be like, oh, okay, well, whatever, he's okay at commentary, so we can tolerate it. But the series I'm going to do for this is going to be challenges for chem strikes, and I say challenges, but some of them won't probably be that bad. It's just going to be like me doing a little stuff a little bit differently and bringing you guys a YouTube series about it. This one right here is a hipfire only, like I was saying, and it's a... Uh, decently good gameplay as is too. It kind of gave me a little bit of a challenge because I wasn't trying to ADS at all right there. It was actually I think the only time that I do ADS in this game at all and that was because there was a motion sensor on it but all the kills are without me aiming down the sights at all. It's not like a quick gameplay or anything like that but it's at least worth watching I would say. I do get in a couple of tough situations towards the end which I don't know if it was just me trying to be a little bit too ambitious and just going like full force straight at him or what but I probably should have died at least three or four times at the end and I somehow come on top of it. The kids I'm playing against aren't that good but I mean that's to be expected. This was shortly after the Christmas news came around. I'm pretty sure that kid camping in the corner is definitely a Christmas noob. So he helped me out getting this first ever chem challenge for my series. If you guys want to see other challenges, me to do stuff, anything like that, let me know in the comment section, and I'm going to try to pick one from the comments and do it for the next couple of videos. I already have a couple of them done, so after a couple of more videos for this series, I'll be doing some other ones. I think right now I have a FP6 one lined up, and I also got a Bulldog one, but I'm not sure if I'm going to use that as a challenge one or not. Some people were wanting to see that on the stream they want to see a shotgun one so I think that doing two shotgun ones back to back is kind of repetitive so I might pick one of those and commentate over that and see what else you guys are thinking about. I've had some other ideas. Uh, one that I think is actually a pretty cool idea is to do one where you use the two primary weapon one and switch back and forth between the guns for every kill. I don't know. Let me know what you guys think about that. If you guys think that's a good idea for me to get that one done if you guys want to see that. Or if you guys don't want to see it, it'd be good to know too because I don't want to be posting stuff that you guys don't want to see at all. And hopefully I can get a little bit better at commentaries as well for you guys and I can turn this into a pretty good series. At the end here, this is what I'm talking about where I start getting into some trouble. Like there's a there's one part where it's coming up shortly. Like I for some reason I'm challenging a kid like halfway across the map that I'm pretty sure has a marksman rifle. And I don't think I ever want to do that when I'm trying to hit fire with an MTAR. But I was actually surprised how easy this one was to do after I figured out how to use the MTAR. I mean obviously when I'm using the MTAR, I hit fire quite a bit, but I honestly didn't think you'd be getting kills like the one I just got right there. I don't know if I pulled host or what, but this worked out really well for me. If you tap it like you would with any other assault rifle, at long range, it works out really, really well. Like, right there, like, that's, I don't know, I feel like that should not be nearly that easy to do. But that's how they made the game, so I guess I'll use it. This is what I'm talking about right here. I almost got it, and then that guy's got a marching rifle, and I was like, okay, we can't be doing this, that's just not smart. And then I run into that guy who's head glitching, and I don't, I don't know how they picked it off. I guess the hip fire gods love me a little bit too much. kind of got wrapped up in my own gameplay a little bit there, but there you guys go. There is the chem strike right there. I got on a little bit of a tear at the end right here too. Not sure if that guy is full blown standing still or if he's trying to figure out which way to move on the map or what. But after this little streak's done here, I'm going to end the video. So please make sure you guys like and subscribe to the channel if you guys have not already done so. And hopefully you guys enjoy it. Like I said, please do give me some recommendations on either the commentaries or also the gameplays you guys would like to see. So there's the end of the streak right there. It's a pretty good run. Um, I can put the raw gameplay in the link in the description as well. I will upload that later. And hope to see you guys on the stream sometime soon. Take care, guys.